Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy, and yes, this will be shaved very soon. Um, <laughs> thank you once again for lending me your time of your ear and listening into another connectivity video. Um, and, and I kind of thought about this for a while, and I was like, why is there not like a Dark Souls Connect game? And, and this might sound odd. Like, this might sound really, really odd. But I was thinking taking what was what EA did with Dead Space and when they made Dead Space ex what was it extract it's either extinction or extraction but the one that they put on the Wii where they took the formula and made it an on rails game and again I know this is going to sound odd but take Dark Souls like just just take Dark Souls put it in an on rails type environment but give the user the ability to maybe turn the camera to like pan the camera from like a particular point of view like and this will eventually be explained um but give the, the user they turn their body the camera turns with them um give them that ability so that they can be able to defend and attack and fight multiple different enemies and opponents and give prompts on the screen to show hey somebody's coming up behind you you might want to turn around and block real quick or something like that um not necessarily saying that but like you know just like a translucent indicator on the screen that pops up oh you need to turn this way like that wouldn't be that hard and i think many people could grasp that pretty easily um i was just thinking about it. i was like this this could work. Like, this could actually work out and be fun. But then again, people are lazy and don't want to get up off of their butt cheeks for more than 30 seconds to go grab a snack out of the goddamn refrigerator and sit back down with a controller in their hands. So, yeah, that's just a little mini rant right there. Um, it, I, just, I just thought about it like if they did this. And I'm, I'm taking in, in into account another game that was put on the Wii and it's uh, called Swords, which... I like that game, and I think it was definitely really underrated, but it doesn't work well without the uh, Wii Motion Plus. If you don't have the Wii Motion Plus, it's, it's horrible to play that game. But seeing as the Kinect 2.0 is definitely better, in a sense, than the Wii Motion Plus, because it's literally re watching your whole body and, and taking note of every movement that you make. I was thinking... Wait, if you put something like this on the Xbox One and, like, this would have to be an exclusive version of Dark Souls for the Xbox One. It doesn't have to be exactly a long game, but it could definitely have been made. It's just something that you could put, to get, put together and it could be, like, a five-hour total playtime game. Not necessarily something that somebody's going to sit down and play for five hours. Like, make stages, and it would have to be done in stages. But, like, make areas, stages that at max are, like, ten minutes long... You could add a lot of different varying scenes and scenery to something like this and someone could play it. Or even if they don't do it in stages, but they just do it in checkpoints. That way you can stop the game at a certain point and just pick it back up later. I, I think that would work out. That would be that'd pretty, pretty cool. And then you could have people fighting and slaying gigantic monsters from a first-person perspective as if they're like David versus Goliath. Like, so I, I think... That that would be really interesting. I know personally I would enjoy something like that. But then again, I'm an oddball because I don't give a damn what other people think about what I play. I actually just play games for fun. Which is the whole concept that people seem to have forgotten. That it's supposed to be about fun. But I, I could see me, again, personally me. I know I could be interested in something like this. Because I... Who doesn't want to necessarily take the role of a knightly type character? Uh, I guess in this case you're you're you would be the undead. But I mean, either way, you're still playing the game in that type of situation where you are blocking and deflecting, and and there's, there's even ways that they could set it up so that you could still use the various items that are in the Dark Souls games. Like the bombs and like bows and arrows. They could literally set it up so you can still use these things. You would just have to use certain hand motions to initiate the attack for these particular things to be done. 
And seeing as the Kinect can record everything, like even the moving of your, your fingers, why not try it? I could see that being potentially really fun, really interesting. And on top of that, give you multiple different ways that you could play through a stage. Um, I guess what I'm, what I'm thinking about is more akin to playing the, uh, the Legend of Zelda portion of Nintendo Land, but in a first-person perspective with a gritty world that you are a part of, that you are participating in. Again, me, I know I would enjoy playing that, especially since I enjoyed the hell out of playing the Legend of Zelda thing on, um, I can't remember the exact name of it, but the Legend of Zelda in Nintendo Land. Like, that is fun to me. Like, especially when you get, like, four of the people playing, like, and... Again, one person's playing with the gamepad using a bow and arrow. Everybody else is using swords. But still, it's fun. Like, it's, it's really fun to do. Like, and, and I enjoy playing it a lot. Especially with my kids and, like, my family. Everybody gets together and we're just playing it on the, on the Wii U. Like, it's fun. Like, but this could be a more single-player-centered experience. Now, they could also add in online multiplayer where you have several people working together to get through stages then they can amp up the difficulty by adding in more uh enemies and creatures for you to fight that could work and then just give everybody their own particular position at the stand i i could see something like that being fun and interesting to play <sighs> but again the potential of the connect has been like <clears throat> down the drain and nobody really gives a damn and, and me is is something, not something, is a person who likes interesting and different things in gaming. Like, that device has so much potential that just, it just got wasted. Like, it's just non-existent now. And that's kind of, that kind of sucks. But, uh, that's it for me. Uh, like, I just wanted to just do this one really quickly. Um, tell me what you think could be added that could liven up the experience and, and again putting this in an on rails first person type of perspective not you trying to manage moving the character about the stage or area they they do this autonomously and you just basically work the upper body of the character and control basically that um but that's it thank you guys very much for listening keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me and until the next time Enjoy your games. Peace out.